Oh, I know a lot of people that have had some really good experiences with Casper mattresses, but I haven't had a great one. And I'm gonna be replacing my one today, but that's not what this video is about. <laughs> Now what I want to talk about instead is something way more interesting because I know many of you are trying to go from a bricks and mortar business to an online business because of the whole pandemic thing that's going on, right? Now, if we look at Casper's business model, there's a lot that we can learn and apply to that transition that I think you're going to find very helpful. Okay, so in his book, The Invincible Company, Alex Osterwalder talks about this idea of being a channel king and Casper is an excellent example. While most traditional mattress companies will sell their mattresses to the mass market, they'll do it through the channels of their retail outlets and sales executives. But what Casper do is quite different because again, they sell mattresses and they sell them to the mass market. But what they do that's different is they do it through their website and through social media ads. So it's completely changed their business model and had quite a big impact. And this is probably a change that you're gonna to have to make if you wanna take your business from bricks and mortar to online. Now, you can't change one area of your business model without it impacting other areas. And this is definitely the case with Casper. So while they've changed the channel and they're selling through their social media ads and their website, what it means is that their key activities are different. They're having to manage their website and that has different costs and they're also having to um, post these social media ads. And again, that has different costs as well. So we've got to factor that into it. And when we look at the customer relationship, it's quite transactional because if we look at the revenue streams, you're only making money from mattresses when people go to buy a new mattress. And that's every seven or eight years. And at the moment, it seems like Casper is not making enough recurring revenues or having uh, customers come back again to be able to justify the cost of the ads that they're having to place to attract customers in the first place. And the result for Casper has been terrible because in Europe, they've actually stopped trading here and you can't buy a Casper mattress anymore. So what does this mean for you and your business? Well, if you've already got a physical store and you wanna start selling online, or you just wanna set up an online store right now, what you need to be thinking about is, well one, don't spend too much on social media ads to acquire your customers, be careful with that. And number two, make sure that your customers are gonna be able to come back to you regularly. Because with Casper, they had a seven or eight year wait before the customer would buy again. You wanna make sure that whatever you're selling, your customers will be able to come back to you for again and again more frequently. Otherwise, you're gonna come into problems. So don't fall asleep on me now. There's two things I'd really like you to do for me. Number one, can you like this video? It helps the algorithm know that it's good content and more people will see it. So I'd really appreciate if you could do that. And number two, if you could press subscribe, that would help me out loads as well. So yeah, that's it for today. Uh, I hope to see you next time. Sweet dreams.